Hi friends, this is Sanit More, the founder of Sanit.com and in this video I am going to do a review of a UPS that I currently use. The name of the UPS is APC1100. So let's begin the video. So while talking about this UPS, this UPS is a very powerful UPS. I bought this UPS two years back and it works great still in the same condition as it was when I newly purchased it. And by the way, I have also got the younger brother of it, the APC 600. So basically the story is I first got the APC 600 for my computer. Uh, later, I nearly upgraded all the components of my computer. Surprisingly, the setup worked quite well with the APC 600. But when I installed the graphic card, the RX 580, the computer was working with all the basic stuff. But as soon as I switched to high task activities like gaming or video editing it used to shut down directly which scared me off did a bit of research found out that I needed more power for my computer and that's when I got the APC 1100 the conversion of the 600 VA is equals to 360 watts and the 1100 VA is equals to 660 watts my total consumption is 475 watts yeah, so it's like go not going to be a big deal even if I add few more devices to this the computer monitor will consume energy as follows this can change depending upon what company device you are using so here's the numbers of the monitor power consumption if you look at the features both the UPSs are pretty similar except the size and the power even the looks of it is identical I really like the looks of it compared to the the Dabba UPS I have used in the past. The wire is strong and thick. The length of it is 1.5 meters. Now who is this UPS made for? The people who have got a computer built for slightly more than the basic usage, people like the intermediate video editors, HD gamers, streamers, YouTubers, etc. You can also use it for a basic configured computer if you're going to use more power consuming accessories to attach to it. Usually people just connect the SMPS power cable, monitor and the internet internet modem but you also can connect the speakers if that is your requirement i don't do any 4k gaming on this so i don't know about that but definitely i'm using a 4k screen for my computer and it runs very smoothly uh, without any stutter or any sh uh, shutdowns let me be very straightforward and tell you that this is a backup device when you have a power cut this is going to help you to save your data and that's it and not a device for using it for extra time for that you have got other devices such as inverters and the generators the APC 1100 has got sufficient ventilation windows and also got a fan inside to cool it down at least I could say that based on the sound it generates when switched off I have not used it more than 25 minutes at a stretch but generally it gives me between 15 to 25 minutes depending on how heavy or light the processing task is. My computer consumes around about 475 watts but that is a pretty clear condition that I cannot use the APC 600. I am using the APC 600 with my TV setup. It includes an old Sony Bravia 40 inches TV, a Sony 5.1 surround sound and a Tata Sky. And the cool thing is I don't miss any last over cricket action any Anymore, all thanks to the APC UPS. The equipments or the components remain safe as both the UPS has got surge protection. This UPS comes with five sockets, four have got battery and surge protection, while one has just got surge protection. It has got a feature that works basically like MCB switches. It uh, trips when overloaded and uh, that can be easily reset by clicking this button. It has also got a battery saver mode. Uh, when activated, it protects the battery and increases the life of it. But the drop back of that is that you get less runtime so the backup drops by half the led on the right side indicates that the ups is charging when completely charged the light switches off and by the way the ups charging time is six hours before you even like think about buying this i would highly recommend you to calculate uh, the power of your computer uh, just because uh, maybe if you need less power uh, then you can go with the younger brother of this device that is the APC 600 which is going to save you a lot of money. Do not connect any heaters, vacuum cleaners or printers to it. If it is very important then the inkjet printers or the ink tank printers can be used that too for a very limited time. But do not even think of connecting the laser printers. The fan runs for ab around about five minutes after you switch off the UPC and there is no way to control the fan speed or duration. You will only notice it if you are working in a very silent place. So keep that in your mind before getting this UPS. I have not called the customer service for the APC 600 as well as the APC 1100. 
plus zero. So don't know much about that, but that tells you the quality of these APC products. So I'm very happy with this product. I would highly recommend you to go for it. For all the technical details, pricing, or if you're interested in buying this product, I have put the link in the description box below. Uh, feel free to check it out. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay connected and bye.